Hey lovelies and welcome back. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and today's video is of course the purple McCart poly gel kit. Did you really think I was going to leave this beauty out? You know, come on. <laughs> so again, I recorded on my lap and I'm showing you in it all its glory, that beautiful purple theme and oh, I love it. I think it's great. Um, this is exactly like the blue, how the blue came. Uh, excuse my Iron Man pyjama bottoms. <laughs> I uh, recorded this after I got the shower and of course I stuck my comfy PJs on. Um, so in the bottom you do get the instructions as always and you get your jewel forms. I didn't use the jewel forms today, I actually used tips, um, fold cover tips I should say. Uh, but let's get into the video and let's have some fun. So in this kit, you do get four poly gels of 15 grams. One is, of course, a clear, and then you get three different shades of purple. You get a base coat, a top coat, your slip solution, um, 180 to 100 grit file, um, jewel forms, and then you get your javelin spear, which is, of course, the brush picker tool. Um, you, uh, I um, used a peel-off base coat, uh, with these because obviously I changed my nails out a lot so I wanted to keep them as well <clears throat> so if you are doing this on your natural nail I would suggest that you um <clears throat> sorry was clearing my throat I'm sorry uh so these are the colors um but going back to the natural nail so if you want these to stay on obviously skip the base the, the peel off base coat and um prep your natural nail as you would uh, with any um, extension. I do this in a lot of my videos, so by all means just check one of the videos and you'll see. Um, so I just buffed out the shine, not the natural shine, but the shine, <laughs> I remembered this time, um, out of the uh, nail tip and now I'm going in with an even layer of base coat on each nail and I will cure for 60 seconds. Um, the base coat was, it worked like every McCart base coat, it was, you know, it worked fine, it went on, it's not too runny and it's not too thick. Um, it was a perfect base coat really. Uh, I've not really had any problem with any base coats I've used so far. So I am going in on my thumb with all three colours to do a marble effect. I actually applied too much, so I had to scoop some off. So that first colour I applied, that purple, is like a grape jelly sort of colour is the best way I can explain it and then you've got like a lovely like decent not decent <laughs> what am I talking about a nice um shade of like purple and then you get a really nice um lavender purple so I guess like is it violet the other colour I guess I don't know um, but I just worked this in, like you, you can see, it was easy to work with. It did get a little bit sticky with some of the colours I did notice, but it wasn't as hard as like the nude poly gel that I've used in the past. Like nothing has been that sticky ever. <laughs> um, so yeah, I enjoyed, uh, I enjoyed this kit. I really enjoyed this kit. I think it was great and um, I loved the end result. I actually preferred the design that I'd done with the purple kit than I did do with the blue. Even though I love the colour blue, um, I think if I had uh, not used jewel forms and used tips for the blue um, kit, I would have been even more happier. But um, because I worked on my dominant hand, so to speak, I always use dual forms because I'm still not 100% with like moulding poly gel on my non on my dominant hand with my non-dominant hand does that make sense i hope so it's very confusing <laughs> um so yeah that's why i do use uh dual forms on my right hand and then on my left hand i tend to do tips because um and change them out a lot more because i can obviously with full cover tips i can pop them off and i can keep them and put them back on because they are press-ons which is a great thing as well you can keep press-ons and reuse them again and again and again um so anyway guys i do want to say a big thank you to all of you because we finally reached 100 subscribers. I can't believe it and I am super, super grateful to all of you lush people for subscribing. I, I, I'm I, shocked. I didn't think that I'd get to 100 subscribers, you know. I, I do this for fun and um, I upload my... Um, content onto youtube just for to, to, just for the journey you know and i can go back in a year or two and i can see how far i've come like i've already noticed that i've come pretty far 
um, because I have an Instagram and I will um, link it down below so you guys can by all means follow me if you like to. I don't really like mention it much in my videos because I just do this for fun, you know, and I and I just share with people so that hopefully one day maybe I'll inspire some someone and to do their own nails because they'll see how you know how much better I've gotten within just a short space of time. Um, but yeah, guys, I really really do appreciate it and, and a big thank you to all of you for subscribing and you are fantastic. And I the comments that I get as well, you guys are so lush. You, I I don't have any negativity. I know that obviously eventually someone's gonna pipe up, but you know. I'll just ignore it. I don't like negativity anyway. <laughs> but yeah, guys, thank you so much. I, I'm shocked and so grateful for all of you. I think you're all brilliant. And uh, yeah. <laughs> so going back to the um, to the design, I do one of each colour um, nail. Does that make sense? I've done, a, I done a co each colour on, on each nail. And then i done the marble, which is on the thumb and on the ring finger. Um, <clears throat> but that's pretty much it. It's not like a really big design. It was just I wanted to do something, some marbling, and I wanted to try all the colours because all the colours are stunning, like I said. Um, but I'm just going to let you guys watch the application, and I'll be back in a bit, so I hope you enjoy. And thanks again, guys. <laughs>
I'm back guys. So you just watched me wipe away the sticky tacky layer off of the um, the nails. Obviously poly gel does come with that sticky tacky layer because it rises to the top. Um, you might be able to hear my son's iPad and I apologise. <laughs> so now I'm just going in with my hand file and just sharpening up the edges and shaping it as best I can. And then I buff over the top and try to smooth that out as best I can as well. Um, and then obviously I use the buffer to um, to buff out any of the scratches. Uh, so it's pretty simple. I didn't record the whole lot of me filing because I didn't think you'd need to see it all. Um, but I'll be back uh, once we start decorating. <laughs> So that was pretty quick, huh? <laughs> so now I'm just going in with some of the McCart um, blah, 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 foils. <laughs> I thought the butterflies would have really complimented it. So I did have a bit of a mishap um, with the foil. I, by the way, I got it back in the box again. I think I'll stay time in a row now. Hells yeah. <laughs> this is where it all goes downhill. So I applied the foil glue to my index, my middle and my pinky. And I cured for 60 seconds. By the way, guys, you cure this poly gel for 60 seconds um, fully to cure it. I forgot to mention that earlier. Um, but yeah, so the foil, I tried to um, just put the butterflies on, but it didn't quite go to plan. And some of the other f bit of foil went on. So I just made the most of it by sticking just like little bits down here and there. Um Basically, I didn't like cover the whole nail because I still wanted that purple to to come through. But you'll see now what I mean. So can you see where there's just gaps? So I just tried to like stick a flower here and there, and it didn't go to plan. And I thought, mm, that looks a bit messy. You know, these aren't perfect, but um, yeah. So I just go back over then and just pop a bit over here and there. Um, I then go on to the marble nails which is my ring finger and my thumb and I apply some McCart um is it like it's it's rhinestone glue it, it's basically builder gel or poly gel or gel it, it, it holds stones in place anyway and um so I put that where I wanted my stones and then I went over it with top coat and then I placed my stones in uh the stones that I used I that come the, the stones that I used came in the pink poly gel kit so I got the most out of that as you can see now what I mean by I just went in and just stuck bits of foil here and there um and then I went over and I top coated the rest of the nails and added some cuticle oil and that was pretty much it guys um so yeah i'm just gonna let you watch the rest of the video now and i'm gonna love and leave you uh thank you again for the hundred subscribers i'm still amazed and i can't believe it and i'm so grateful like i said guys um and yeah i, <laughs> I don't really know what to say you know when you're just like wow this is amazing that's how i feel um but yeah guys i'm really really grateful and thank you so much for supporting me um but i hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe which do you prefer the purple pink or blue poly gel kit you know i've done all three now so pick a winner <laughs> um uh, blah, 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 blah. i see i can't think tonight um i can never think i think i do this in every video um but yeah guys i'm gonna love and leave you don't forget to keep on smiling stay safe and i'll see you on the next one guys bye Thank <laughs> you.